trying to sum any spirit like her up in, in words is, is virtually impossible. Um, um, f from the very beginning, the two of us were the best of friends, mm. really. Uh, and we seemed to have a deep understanding of each other, um, uh, you know, even through the ups and the downs, you know, um, and, you know, being a very passionate, incredibly intense woman. Um, you know, the ups and the downs were, they they were, were, really they were very often, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, and yeah, up, uh, really up and really down. Um, and we seemed to be a very, very good kind of counterbalance for each other. Mm -hmm. And it seemed to kind of really work that way, even from a very, very young age. Yeah. Um, you know, she was, she would, um, she would write and she was very passionate about the writing. And then, you know, she would also go through these stages of, of, um, you know, being very unsure of, oh, I don't know if I've, what, what I've written is any good and I, and I don't know that I can continue. And, mm -hmm. and somehow I just kind of knew to just, just be with her mm -hmm. through these processes, even from a very, very young age. Um, and so I grew up with, with all, all aspects of her. I, I grew up with the, with the persona that everybody kind of knew and loved mm -hmm. of this incredible, you know, kind of powerhouse woman. Yeah. Um, uh, and you know, which she was 150%. And I also knew the, the other sides of her, which were just so, um, she was so sensitive and so incredibly, um, um, even delicate. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, yeah, I don't, don't. She, she's still a mystery really to me because um, she had so many different modes and different personalities yeah. and um, her, her, the, the, her life story and her, her life's work, I mean, it, it, incredible, absolutely incredible. I, I mean, she helped inspire me to get into shamanism, which yeah. was one of the things, it, you know, so this is over 20 years ago because she, her book, 13 Quantum Leaps, the quantum Journey to Freedom, yeah. 13 Quantum, quantum Steps, steps yeah. for the Soul, for the soul like, yeah. you know, and so, so back then, you know she really inspired and I remember doing that program mm. and everything so she so it wasn't just food it, w it was other it was beauty it was other yeah. areas of, of healing and all kinds of things wasn't it I yeah think. very much so and and it was very interesting she she uh, when she worked for Harpers and Queen which was you know when I was very very young um, uh, she really um, Harpers and Queen had never put health and beauty together mm -hmm. they were always separated uh, and she really created an entire industry out Isn't of being, being able to yeah. join those two words together. Okay. And of course, what we what we then get is that they are so from from yeah. that point on. Really, they were so closely linked. Health and beauty are are, are like you know. So she was the torchbearer. She was kind of she, out she, there she, ahead she, of her yeah. time. Yeah. Because they basically gave her the option of saying, "Look, we want you. You do whatever you want." And mm. she was like, "Well, I'd like to do something on health and beauty." And they were like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't, you know, that, that's, that's like putting, um, you know, heavy lifting equipment with beauty. I mean, it was just like you just don't join those two together. Isn't that but, um, but the, the the truth was is that you know people really resonated with it because they did. They were they were so inter interconnected and, and intertwined. Um, and so yeah, I, it, it. I adore her. I absolutely love her, and I and I do miss her. And it was it was very difficult, but at the same time. I, I, I developed a much deeper understanding of that this is, n this is um, life is part of something, again, much larger than myself, and I am simply part of it, and, yeah. and that um, whatever come nec comes next, I do not know, but I, but I, I feel her presence, I feel her yeah. power. I, I feel felt her yeah. presence. Um, yeah. and, and I don't ever think that that will go away. No. It'll shift and it'll change, and yeah. I'm sure wherever she is, she's doing you know, t she always finds something that she's very passionate about in the same way that she brought shamanism to, to, the, to, to a world that didn't even realize that it kind of existed. Yeah. And the thing that was so beautiful as well about her is she would always take these very complex, potentially unknown subjects mm -hmm. and turn them into, into something that it was so easy to digest and, and understand accessible. and accessible. Yeah, yeah. And not like some weird thing that, you know, was, was of another world, but something that you could use. I mean, a bit like Cura Romana, you know, there are so many fads and different ways of doing something which are kind of quite out there and they don't attract me, but but it, with with the shamanism, I mean, even that it was it it kind of packaged it in a way that 
it was really easy it, it, it to allows go you to with actually the life yeah we're all living yeah. in kind of 2000 and whatever <laughs> and also i think to realize that it wasn't a foreign entity that it really was so intrinsic i mean you know she was such a strong believer of you know you can't teach anybody anything that they don't know already mm. All you're doing is simply reminding people of what they already know. Mm -hmm. And because of her uh, ability to translate it into, into the language really of the soul, I think, mm -hmm. uh, it allowed people to just so deeply understand what it was. And it wasn't theoretical. Everything that she wrote was felt. And even the language, mm -hmm. the way that she wrote, it was like poetry. Mm -hmm. I remember um, her reading um, uh, passages of her first book, Joy of Beauty. And you, somebody could be reading a poem to me and, and I would be like, oh my God. And the imagery, is it just, it was phenomenal. Um, yeah, it, that, that really stood out for me because I'm not a writer. Mm -hmm. I am, I'm not even a terribly good reader. Mm -hmm. um, everything I see is visual, um, but to hear those words, yeah. you know, is... <laughs> oh, I, I wish I'd met her, but mm. at least I've met you. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of her lives in me. Yeah, I, I, and you know, we're here and we're in your home and it, it's, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, the, 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 shaman, the sh shamanism thing for me is a, is a really, a really um, special thing. And, and I love, what I love is that it was her books on that and her book on Kira Romana that it's the same woman that get yeah. kind of resonated with me at different points in my life you know when when shifts needed to happen yeah. <laughs> when rites of passages needed to happen and yeah. that actually um whereas journeying with shamanism is one way of doing it um Kira Romana is a journey I mean it I can honestly say it it's had as much if not more of a profound yeah. effect yeah. <laughs> than any banging drum it's kind of <laughs> you know and it's in, it's incredible that she created that yeah um, it's very much like like um, joseph campbell you know it, every it, all of us are going through this hero's journey we are the hero mm. of our own lives and you know the yeah the the um the kuru romana is actually deliberately designed to be like that journey yeah. you know yeah. uh, with with each step uh, 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 having a deeper connection you know, to hence ourselves one of the programs hence, is called, hence it's called the, the journey, journey. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly okay. Okay. um so yeah she um did she have a favorite book of all of hers uh, journey to freedom journey to freedom yeah yeah yeah, yeah. very much um into uh, she 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 deeply loved actually Ludwig her her, her novel mm -hmm. because of the challenge that it was for her to write because of of um, it took her four years to write wow. it um, and she was very very proud of herself for mm -hmm. doing it um, uh, with all of the ups and downs and the bumps and you know can I do this and oh my God um, it was it was um, it was sheer. Um, passion uh, that, that got her through that and mm -hmm. so she was very very proud yeah. proud of that um, and and the fact that it was such a um, a step away from what everybody kind of knew her for um, uh, I think being who she was that you could never fit her into some mold or yeah. some stereotype or anything else she would f become passionate about something and she would dive to the very depths of it <laughs> Um, and then she would see whether or not it was something that was worth sharing. And if she was, she would share it with such a passion yeah. uh, and such a clear voice that, that people could just so easily um, you know, take it on board. Yeah. Um, and sometimes people find that very, very difficult. You know, people like to pigeonhole you know, it's somebody, yeah. somebody is oh, known she does for, this, you know, she does that. she's known for raw food or yeah. she's known for this or she's known Which for that. Which she was, Yeah, obviously. absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, all of us, go through this continual journey of this death and rebirth mm -hmm. um, you know not to say that you know you, the old principles that you had uh, don't still apply they just shift and change as mm -hmm. we should because all of us grow all of us shift and change from any given moment and 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 I think if we deny ourselves that that possibility of that shift and the change that's what causes a great deal of suffering actually in our body because yeah. we do not allow for the possibilities that we are totally unique and every possibility is open to us at any given moment you know 
Hi everyone, this is Victoria and hopefully you just really enjoyed that video and got lots of useful information. Uh, please subscribe, press the button and subscribe to the Excel Therapies um, channel because there's going to be lots more um, interesting videos coming relating to nutrition or movement or body work um, and also videos about the way we think, meditation, uh, beliefs, all kinds of things. So basically a whole bunch of stuff relating to how we feel and what can help us feel better. Also please leave your comments if there's any more information that you would have liked to know about or you know whatever whatever the videos bring up for you please give me feedback because it will give us um, more things to think about to make new videos for. So hopefully you'll subscribe and then you'll automatically get the next videos when they come out. Um, so until next time, thank you for watching and see you again soon.